and welcome back to our beginner's guide to creating amazing photo mosaics. In this video, we're going to be covering how to upload and edit your cell images. Your cell images will make up your mosaic, and we can begin uploading those by clicking on the Add Cell button here. Here, we can upload images using any of the tabs found at the top of the page. If you don't have photos for your mosaic, we do offer a free stock library that you can use to populate your project. We also offer a share link tab. Using the share link tab, you can create a URL link that can be shared with up to 50 people. This will allow those users to add photos directly to your cell library. And if this is something you're interested in doing, you're just gonna simply enable your share link and then copy this link and send it out to the people you wanna include in your project. For the people who receive this link, what they're gonna do is they're gonna take it and they're just gonna put it into their web browser and they're gonna get a page like this. And from this page, they can upload any of the photos they wanna to add to your cell library. So moving back to our add cells page, we're gonna be using the computer to upload our photos. A couple things to note here is your images should be in a JPEG, PNG, or GIF file format. Also, if you have a large number of photos you wish to upload, I would recommend doing so in small batches of no more than 100 photos at a time, as this will help prevent slowing down your web browser as you upload photos. So now that we're ready to upload photos, we're going to hit the Add Photos button, and we're going to navigate to our photo location. And rather than me uploading all these photos and you guys having to watch, I'm gonna upload the photos to my project and then I'll bring you back afterwards. Welcome back. So we've finished uploading all of the photos that we're gonna use for our project. So once you're done uploading all the photos for your project, you're gonna go ahead and hit finalize and continue. And then I'll bring you back to the project homepage. On the project homepage, we can now see how many photos we have for our project. Currently, we have 829 photos uploaded. We recommend that you have at least 150 cell photos. However, the more the better. The tool will allow you to submit upwards of 7,500 photos or more. We have a Use All Cell Images box, which is currently checked. Unchecking this box will result in only the best matching photos being used for your project. Keeping this box checked will guarantee that each image you uploaded is used at least once. We're going to keep this box checked for the tutorial. Once you've uploaded all of your photos, we can now edit the photos in your cell library. We can do this by navigating to our Edit Cells page by hitting the Edit Cells button here. On our Edit Cells page, you can edit the photos you have uploaded to your project. At the top of the page here, you can edit the ratio of the photos that you uploaded to your cell library. Our system has selected the best ratio for your photos, so you don't need to change this, but you can change the aspect ratio if you don't like the one that the system has selected. In our case, it's a one-to-one. -one. At the bottom of the page, you'll see a bunch of numbers. These numbers indicate how many pages of photos you have. You can click in and out of these as you see fit as you go through and edit your photos. On the Edit Cells page, you can zoom in, zoom out, rotate, as well as move your photo around to adjust how it's cropped. The system has selected a best guess crop for the photos that do not match the aspect ratio. Most of your photos should be in good shape, but it may be worth a quick review to ensure you like the photos that have been potentially cropped. Um, but once you're done editing your photos and you're satisfied, you're gonna go ahead and hit save and close. This will save your photos out and bring you back to the project homepage. 